very good morning welcome back to the day to day <coughs> day to devops master program <coughs> in the previous session <coughs> in the day one we understand what is cloud computing so in cloud computing how to create a windows server in windows server how to install a web services role and the web services role how to access outside of the world through browser access a web page then next we download some sample website on the internet and we copy to inet a pub folder to access the web page from internet like this like this we have one website is delivered so in the day one <coughs> we successfully we finished it the next one the same project the same concept you can think it in bigger way <coughs> maybe this website is zomato.com <coughs> swiggy mintra uh, flipkart amazon.in okay costco.com so like that we have a very popular brands are available you can think about that kind of website so first they will develop the website first they will develop the website by using the code software code they will write it by the developers programmers the code will be converting into this type of web applications so now that concept uh, we need to learn from the scratch so basically when developer start working on developing the code where it will store mostly in the local system but how this code is managing that process we called as version control system that process we called as version control system so let me introduce what is meaning of version control system okay what is meaning of version control system that we need to understand so version control system means when we are developing the software with the different uh, versions we are releasing to access the application by the customer like a version 1.0 1.1 1.2 2.0 2.1 2.2 like that <coughs> so the version control system means the software that track the changes of the files in a different different phases different features we are developing it in the software development life cycle so the version control system is collection of software tools that helps the team management what is the source code which is changing in the version 1 what are the features was developed in version 2 what are the systems are developed what are the features are developed so we have a comparison older versions and newer versions what are the new things are there maybe in older version what are the problems in the newer versions what are the problems we fixed so these all comparison only we can go with the version control system so what is the benefits of version control system so version control system shortcut we called as vcs this vcs is very helpful and beneficial in the software development like uh, deploying the software without using the version control it is unsafe method suppose some software i have installed on your mobile and you are complaining that but i have developed the same applications and different uh, copies one of the copy i have installed on your mobile but you are complaining to me hey rajesh this application is not working properly i i could not able to recognize uh realize what application installed on your mobile because of i was not mentioned any kind of numbering system 
so this is unsafe method to understand uncertainty so what application i installed and what application i need to take a backup and restore it's very confusing state so basically version control system it will offer speed of your interface for the development uh, process so by using the version control system we can track the history of the application so traceability is uh, available traceability means each and every work we can easily trace we can find out by using the version control system the big project we can converting into small small modules and we can give like an a branching system suppose when you are working on the software development maybe you or your team members unable to developing that feature you needs help some expert from outside of the organization you can create a branching sub branch and the specific branch only you can give access to outside of the freelancer worker the person will take care of the person will take care of the rest of the development and without giving complete access to your software code once the person is developing you can test it on the sub branch itself if everything looks good you can pay some money for him okay and you can stop the access for the sub branch to the person and you can merge the code with the main base these all benefits these all benefits we can <coughs> satisfying with the version control system without version control system nowadays no such company will run any software development project okay this particular version control system this particular version control system <coughs> what type of models are available what type of models are available one is localized version control system second one is centralized version control system third one distributed version control system these are the three models are there so let me explain one by one what is a local <coughs> what is a centralized and what is a distributed version control system local so let's talk about what is meaning of local version control system <coughs> a developer <coughs> developer using a laptop okay a desktop some system they are using in this particular system in this particular system they maintain the they maintain the version database they maintain the 
version database they will mind <coughs> so <coughs> the versions like might be version 1 version 2 version 3 <coughs> so which file will go for delivering to the deployment so which of the file you have lost developed the latest version this is the file we can go for deployment so now this is the file okay this is a file software file for checkout this is a software file for checkout this is a deployment file suppose this laptop is got corrupted this is all your version control system files are get corrupted if you have a backup okay then fine suppose if you don't have backup it is a single point of failure it is a single point of failure single point of failure means if this laptop is all of sudden it is deleted or corrupted all your okay all your version controls will get deleted that's a huge loss here this is a huge loss this is a very huge loss so that's why we are moving to local version control system to centralized version uh, centralized version control system that's the second model so we are moving to the centralized okay version control system we are moving we'll take the same scenario this is a central version control system central version control system You can please understand <coughs> he is a developer one he is a developer two <coughs> he is a developer three So first of all, in the central version control system, the people, they are not maintain any code on the local system. Okay. We are maintaining the, okay, we are maintaining the central version control system server. We are maintaining the central version control system server. So in the central version control system server, we are maintaining the version control database. We are not maintaining the... Rajesh, I think you are on mute. We are unable to hear you. Now it is okay? Yeah. 
<coughs> so we are not maintaining any software code in the local system we are maintained separate server the server name called a central version control system and this particular version control database is maintaining on this so either the particular version 1 or version 2 or version 3 anything you are maintaining in the we are maintaining in the <coughs> this version control system itself we are maintaining in the version control system itself this is maintained by a separate administrator so this is a NAS server this is a NAS server so only the developers okay only the developers Just they are a particular software file. <coughs> this is a software file. They'll be checked out into the laptop. So like this. So you understood right <coughs> how these people are check out here <coughs> so if the laptop one developer have any problem no no issues and once he back up <coughs> so you can restore it suppose if you don't have backup also no issues we have the data is available in the centralized server it's a safe and secure Every time it is backup, every day it is taking the backup on this server. Your data is very safe. Even though if version control system server it is down, we have one more backup server will be there. Even from that server, we can able to access it. So that's why <coughs> it's a more secured method. Version control system methods we are using. Any questions about central version control system server? Sir, uh, the central con control system it means like uh, we are creating a data center like a similar way to have access to the others yes we are maintain the server in the data center and by using the <coughs> shared path we are updating the data you're true now moving to the dvcs method DVCS distributed version control system so what is meaning of DVCS okay DVCS okay version control system what it is distributed version control system So they are maintain the central repository, <coughs> same like this, but this is in internet world. This is in the internet world. So the developers, the developer, 
ओके इट हैज अ लैपटॉप और डेस्कटॉप वॉट एवर द सिस्टम दे आर यूजिंग इट even in the local system also they will maintain the similar kind of system Okay. This is called local repository. This is called central repository, or also called as remote repository. Okay. This is a central repo. This is local. रेपो बट विच डेट इज विच डेटा इज अप टू डेट द सेंट्रल डेटा इज अप टू डेट बिकॉज वॉट इज द लास्ट अपडेट दिस इज अप टू डेट डेटा सो एवरीबडी विल बी फॉलो दिस वन सो इफ द डेवलपर इज वन पुश द डेटा or maybe a developer wants he pull the data okay pull and push mechanism the data will get exchanging between the local repo to central repo central repo to local repo so in case of this system has anything problem no issues <clears throat> i can get the new laptop the latest data whatever it is available we can pull the data and we can start work here so for any commit the changes we'll directly develop the applications locally everything looks good then it will be uploading into the central repository this central repository database hosting by a different companies like a you can see this bitbucket github code commit services so these call are git hosting service providers these all are distributed version control systems so now in the next video we are going to set up the github account to create the repositories inside the github services so like that so if you learn one github services <coughs> one git version control system it is similar to others also maybe interfaces are different but concept almost 90% is same so first we will learn thoroughly github so whenever you free i will teach bitbucket and code commit also so now you please understand this workflow a developer it use a local system in the local system wherever the the project is developing that is called working directory and once installing the git application locally that's called git version control system it will create uh, the particular folder as a local repository once a uh, developer is ready to push the data the data will be moving to here into the remote repository the remote repository either you can host in the different platforms like a bitbucket github code commit and so many companies are there <clears throat> so first we are going to first we are going to create a one github account 
and next we are going to install the git version control system on your local pc okay thank you very much we'll see in the next video how to install the github hosting provider account we can create a github account creation in the git hosting provider thank you very much